verse on the Jester for Jesus website for today is from Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 25, just the second part of the verse. And it says this, I will cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols. Now this is God speaking to the prophet Ezekiel about the nation of Israel who had done things that they shouldn't have done. And there's a promise within it that he's going to gather them back into one place again. And then he says, I will cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols. There was a message in there for us today because that's what Jesus did when he came to earth. Jesus is the only one that died for us and rose again and went back into heaven and is the only one that can cleanse us from all the sins that we've done wrong. If we turn to him and we say that we are sorry for all the things that we've done wrong, turn away, repent from all the stuff that we've done and go in a different direction following him. Idols, well, do we worship idols these days? Well, we might if we think about our job, our money, our properties, uh, our football team, uh, celebrityism, stardomism, whatever it is, they could be classed as idols. And God is saying to the Israelite people here through Ezekiel, they're also cleanse us from impurities, the wrongs, and the idols. Whatever they were doing, they were also worshipping statues of this, that, and the other. But that same thing applies to us today. God can cleanse us from all the things that we've done wrong and from all the things that we have, in effect, worshipped as idols over and above worshipping him. Be encouraged today.